So you had spoken on an interview that um, Mark Curry did on uh, Gully TV where he had tried to insinuate that the Big Jake situation was over publishing, which is ironic because the guy put out a book years ago, and in the book he said it was over a female. But the person who owns that channel, after you said that, didn't like the way you said his name or, or something along those lines, and he made a whole live stream about you. Um, did you see it, and do you have any reaction to it? Yeah, unfortunately I had to see it. And uh, I had to see it, and I watched it. I watched the whole interview. And all I heard in the, in the reaction was, he's the police. <laughs> he's the police. He's the police. And I was like, damn. Why well, this dude just telling me he's been the police? Everybody know I was a, a cop. I never denied that. And then a lot of people come over in our channel in the comment sections, which I think is him and his little, you know, crew. When you gonna address Gully TV? You scared of Gully TV? How in the hell I'm scared of anybody on this mother effing YouTube? I'm not scared of anybody, y'all. I'm not saying I'm the toughest nigga in the world because I'm by far as that. I'm a cripple. So I ain't that tough a nigga. But I can use this well, phone. Stop talking shit. That's me. That's gonna always be me. God damn. I don't do that all my life. But. Okay, I was the police. Y'all know it. Y'all get it. Got it. Period. Yeah. But, so I go and listen to the, the interview again. And I'm just going, John, you know, we done talked about this because I didn't want to address it. You told me, stop addressing people. And, you know, I just can't help myself. Mm -hmm. But could you just play some clips right quick? Because I want to prove a point to you guys. Got shot in L.A., didn't he? Yeah. How many times? Uh, I don't know. Was that the time he got shot in the ass? He got shot a few times, right? Okay. Hands down. All my little homies. It's been going down. This I, I can't even open up the the the, the open up the the, the gateway. You know what I'm saying? So, so a motherfucker can see. Yeah, we wasn't playing with him then. We not playing with him again. We and niggas ain't playing with nobody, period. And this ain't no YSL. This is just... Saying, Mark, this is just Mark, a, hold on, Mark. The way that you talking... Oh, you. you, you it's talk, slick. You it's talking, slick. You talking from a bad boy perspective because you saying slick. we. You saying we. Hey, we saying like you, you like... Me, you I'm, I'm, me, I'm, 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 hey, man, me... I'm California West Coast Mansfield Gangster Crippin. I know that. That's it. We so anything that comes around from that circle, from no matter how I met them, no matter how we became friends, no matter how we did business or whatever, or no matter whatever, whatever. Them has been a, a, a circle of motherfuckers that I always gel with and I bonded with, and them has been like brothers. It's almost like we Muslims. We we believe in us. Like it's not we. It's not a, a about a gang or nothing. It's just us. I want to make sure your family eat. You make sure my family eat. You know, I want to. You happy? I'm happy. Um, to to hear it coming from you, cause Shug got shot nine times. He got shot nine times at an Akon party with Chris Brown in L.A. He pulled up with the bullshit, right? Nine times. He know the business. This is not a game. And, and, and what happened that night, you know, I'm just saying, it's, it's not a fucking game. You know what I mean? Like, it's real. It's real, but that's old. That's old. We old now. Shoot. It's too old. Every we too time old. I went back, I went and seen this one nigga. And I never had to worry about selling nothing in New York. And the nigga was Von Zip, and that's my sister's boyfriend. They don't want to talk about this shit, man. They don't want to talk about this shit, man. Call me brother-in-law, man. I'm brother-in-law. They, they ain't understanding this. Like, I tell you about all of it. We'll go all the way back to the West Coast. We want to talk about that. No, I'm not a crip. But I I fuck with the Crip niggas, you understand? Because them are the niggas who show me love. I'm from Teaneck, New Jersey. You understand? I'm from New York. I was born. Okay. James, you just heard that. 
you deserve that. Man, this dude, and I'll let James react to it after I give my spill, and he can tell because he's more the gang guy or gang expert than I am because I, but that sounds like he's telling the whole episode on that show. Just listen to that. He talked about Suge getting shot by uh, Akon or, or for Akon brother Boo and now I told y'all about that before but y'all act like y'all ain't never heard that but the dude is bragging about being a, a Manville Crip and how they did that and I told y'all about the T-Money guy and the Manville Crips shooting the Suge at the Chris Brown party they over there telling confirming everything he's talking about Von Zip and him selling drugs and taking drugs to Von Zip selling and, 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 you know, being the man in New York and doing all these drug transactions and stuff, Von Zill still got mothers and families and people out there. They don't want to hear that. But I'm the police. No, nigga, you and your channel is the one that's putting out police information stuff. All of that stuff you was talking about on just those little three clips, a little two-minute clips that I broke down, Gully TV is the one out there promoting that police shit, that snitching shit. Whenever Reggie talk about stuff, it'd be like, I heard, I, with possibility, this is what rumor. You got a nigga on your channel, no disrespect to Mark Curry, don't know much about him, just know he done told a few lies, and, and he's, because he mad at Puffy now, now he's changing his tune, but just because I bring out the part that he, he didn't say that, then he, he always said, and I don't want to ask James about this because I know he done heard these rumors too. But I'll let you respond, James, in a second. You heard the rumors. You know the, the heat that she caught behind Big Jake uh, situation. I'll let you bring it up. I'm not even going to coach you into it. Come on, dog. Yeah, I was the police, but nigga, you listen to the stuff that you said in that interview. Use the motherfucking snitch, not the police, a snitch. James, you heard the same thing I heard. Just from hearing what you heard, because I know you ain't listened to the interview. You probably ain't never. No, both of those <clears> dudes <throat> come and slap you in your face right now, you wouldn't know who they were. No, I wouldn't. And like I said, I stay away from certain shit. I stay away from, you know, the he say, she say shit. I stay away from these, from cats that get on social media and then get to telling shit, whether their story is accurate or not. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're they're telling their stories and saying whatever. So get mad? No, I'm not gonna get mad. Reg, Reg already knew that he worked in law enforcement. So anybody that, that get on the platform and say you a police, yes I was. <laughs> Period. <laughs> now motherfucker that worked at that broke can deny that and say he wasn't. Nobody that that Or didn't know that. Wait a minute, that was back then, that era, can't say they didn't know that we had more than one police officer in that motherfucker. We had police officers hanging out and robbing banks and shit. No, you didn't. Anyway, no shit like that. <laughs> I ain't never met that no motherfucker no, before look, in my life. But anyway, yeah. shit was so, shit. listen, listen, <laughs> shit, I don't know no people more. just, I'm just playing, I'm playing. Uh, Some people... <laughs> Just have to understand what they what they hearing and 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 got a cipher what's true or not, but you'll never know what's the truth. We know, yeah. we know. Like I said earlier, when Reggie came to death row, I did not like that. Some others didn't like it, but they accepted it because sure, this is what he wanted. It made him feel better and everybody else. But once everybody warmed up to Reggie Wright Jr. Everybody called him Reggie Wright Jr. Everybody called him his goddamn name. Everybody is Reg. When we got you got my ticket, Reg, Reg, come over here. I need you over here, Reg, Reg. So it's pretty much all the homies start depending on him. Even myself, Reg, make sure I get my check, man. Tell that nigga sugar I need some money. So it's only outside people that have a problem That's with a, that yeah. type of shit. So even with even with this dude. You know what I'm saying? 
But let's talk about what, it, what was dressed on it that you Big just Jake. heard. This is, this is what I'm saying. Yeah. Big Jake. When, 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 when that situation happened, everybody in the fucking hood, even Jake Hood, our hood, and everybody was grilling Shug about what the fuck happened. Everybody was hearing different shit about what happened. And people, I don't even know, was making phone calls and saying shit happened. So we really didn't know. We going off of what Suge said, but then it's fuck that. Me out of all of them. We had a meeting. The homies got together and we talked about that type of shit. Okay. What the fuck's up with Big J? Everybody didn't didn't hear Mob James because Mob James, everybody felt. Let Mob me actually just cut you off right there because this was important for y'all to hear. Did y'all ever hear that Shug slapped the shit out of the puffy cones? Never. Not that day. No. When did it, you hear? It, it wasn't never. Oh, I'm about to say. If okay. I if, if it would have been said, it would have been said. That's what, exactly that same day. That's all I'm saying. Had mad to me because this is why. Jake was shot. Yeah. It didn't, that ain't, that ain't. Or she did work. that after Jake got shot. Hell no, he couldn't have did it after Jake got shot. He was dodging motherfucking bullets. So, but, but, we know. We, we, we know. We, we everybody got a good idea. But I'm gonna tell you, just like everybody in the motherfucking hood, and this some real shit, everybody in the majority of all those cats that knew the real when the homie got killed is, a lot of motherfuckers stepped getting getting them bonuses and all that other shit and it passed and went through one end out the other. And and that I'ma leave that at that. I had to hire. I hired his brother at the studio doing stuff right after that happened. And so anyway. Rest in peace, Big James. Yes, a true one. True one. One hundred. And he wasn't just home from penitentiary either. Like the brother said in that in that interview, she was taking him on a a tour. Jake had been home at least. I know. I mean, this happened in in September of 1995. I was around sometime in 1994, he, he, and he was already there. No, he went he went home a year, two years. Yeah, mm -hmm. about a year or two, that's what I said. When, 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 when this dude made it sound like he just came home. And, and that's why him no, and Shug was out there. Out 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 and, then, and then him and Shug was just going to be the only ones going to the club looking for Puffy on the East Coast or the South or wherever. Just those two alone. That damn show wasn't a plan. No, exactly. That damn show wasn't a plan. Because he would have had 20 niggas with him. It would have, it, everybody would have been there. Exactly. And, you know, you know, I hear a lot of people talk about how they was punching on shit with and beat up the entourage. Y'all some bad motherfuckers if y'all went through all of those cats and none of them come to the hood and speak on it. Cause if they did, I'd have been laughing. Y'all got your asses whooped. <laughs> oh yeah, especially the ones that wasn't getting the yeah. check. The ones that wasn't getting the check. Oh, right. they would have had a field day with that. They clowning. So, yeah. you know, but I mean, everybody got their own story and, and you know, we all got to pump it up. Or if we heard a story, by the time we get to bomb first, it's watered down. It's told 20 times and it's watered down now. So we'll never get the truth out of certain individuals because some of us have to put too much or a little more than what it's supposed to be on it to, to, to make it sound good to, the, to your YouTubers. Yeah, so that's all we're going to address. Not going to go in back and forth with the clown. Nigga needed to stick, stick to sports talk. Because you had a channel that was popping. We on our way up. You, like Carcinio and all the other motherfuckers, on your way down. Why are you bringing them? See, that's down. A, see, I'm going to cut. Hey, hey John, this, this, I'm going <laughs> to cut Reggie off because you know we used to do this on Guns <laughs> and See, the problem is black men can't, we can't. I, I do said, shit together. I told him what he needed to store. What don't we talk about the man? That brother tapped at me. I don't even know he had a nigga sitting somewhere in an apartment okay, on the motherfucking East Coast. It? And he gonna tap at me. He tapped at you because you're a police. You used to be a police. Tell that motherfucker you still got your badge, your pictures, <laughs> your uniform, all that shit. So motherfucking what? All right. Shit is what it is. Okay? Everybody on this motherfucker can call me a police. 
Y'all know this. So what? But man, bring that motherfucker, bring, man, I wish y'all show well, I wish y'all do good, yada yada. I ain't Reggie Wright. Well, I, I know, Reggie but Wright. Reggie Wright gonna have to change one day. Nah, right. Motherfucker. All right. I be, I be sitting My sister there. tell me all the time, you were more mature when you was 20 and 30 than you are now that you're 50 and 55. Hey, you don't she give a fuck about who you talking about. <laughs> God damn. 